I know what you're thinking. The sunshine and me in the same shot couldn't be, couldn't be Coove. Well, my friends, today it is. Because it's time for the daily check-in. So let's get into it. Ah, my peeps. What's up, guys? Happy Wednesday. We made it. Clearly, I'm coming at you with a lot more energy. No, not just because it's during the day and I actually see the sun while I'm filming this. Shocker, I know. It's not just because this is my third cup of coffee, though that might be helping, at least on the jitter front. No, it's because I've been living life today. I've been taking advantage of the breathing, the working of the systems of the body and the functioning of the brain. Uh, and whilst doing that, got to experience the most human thing possible, which is just a freak event that scared the absolute shit out of me. <laughs> So as you guys know, I have two cats right now um, and a little bit of background and I think I've touched on this a little bit. I never thought that I'd be a cat person ever. Grew up with dogs, grew up loving dogs, around dogs, seeing dogs all the time. Never had a family cat or anything like that. You know, and it, it came through a place of me really needing, you know, an acquaintance, just a friend, something to be there for me, something that I could be there for. When I started thinking about, well, maybe a cat is the right option. And uh, as you guys can probably tell, that option completely changed my world. And here I am now a fucking cat guy. Who knew? <laughs> but that comes with a lot more stress that I didn't think that it would. And what I mean by that is there's always the joke that cats are indestructible. You can get, you know, a cat for a penny on certain days and get kittens on the corner and cats, you know, there's a distribution system. Some people get them out of the trash. Some people, they just wander into their lives. And so there's this kind of preconceived notion when it comes to cats that they're just little indestructible balls. And today we were reminded that they're not and it was scary. Uh, so our smallest one, Mavis, uh, she only has three legs. She's a tripod kitty. Uh, we think it was a, a, a birth defect or something that happened very near her birth um, that resulted in her losing the leg. But, you know, she's such a, a little spitfire. She has so much energy. She'll bounce around, jump around, run around. And it really seems like it was a spare leg anyway. Like she gets around so well without it. Uh, well, today I was just doing a little work in here with Grace and this big chair that I would actually film these on. I was sitting in there and she jumped up on the side like she normally would any other day, uh, but she started slipping on her back leg. So I put my hand down and I tried to help her butt up a little bit and I, I got her up onto the side, but I don't know what happened. Grace doesn't know what happened, but she flipped off with her, her stump still on the arm of the chair and it just kind of popped up into the air and she landed on her side and popped up immediately her face kind of like scrunched up real tight and she like had this just heartbreaking meow i can't get out of my head at this point and she ran away with that stump just hanging up in the air it looked like her hip was dislocated or broken or who knows what i remember just this absolute pit just opened in my chest and my stomach where i was like screaming for grace like i don't know what to do this is scaring me like she, we might need to go to the vet we might need to go to the emergency vet she might need surgery right now and it was it was this event that was so manic and crazy for a little bit and it, it showed me that these connections that we develop with animals with our with our pets they're they're so much deeper than than uh you know we we give them credit they are too good for us, too good for this world. And uh, honestly, guys, I think that I just need to talk that through live time as it was happening. And I'm, I'm very thankful that you were here on the receiving end of that. So uh, I'm gonna go kiss up Mavis and remind her that she is just a gem on this world and that I need her to be wrapped up in like a cellophane suit for the rest of time. <laughs> but I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and you take it easy, all right?